Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're doing a linking buddy guide for the future Android 18 and the future Android 17 cards that got their token awakenings. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, obviously, it's going to be pretty you know, self-explanatory. The cards are all going to be linking with other Androids, most likely Android 17s and 18s. You know, So there's really not too much going to be here. So if you're not interested in that, at least give me a like in the video and uh, give me a comment as well. But anyway, guys, let's jump into it. Rampage of Destruction, Android 18 future. This is the SSR. She's been around for a while. I mean, she is so old that she is an SSR with extreme damage. That's how old she is. Yeah, I know, right? Um, she is a decent unit for a mono extreme agility team for a Super 17 team, specifically because of her passive skill, physical to agility type, which is pretty awesome. You always need keyword manipulators on Super 17 team. It's really very, very useful. Um, it's not like a requirement, but it's definitely useful, especially if you're running an LR Majin Vegeta. You want that, that, all that extra key. Um, she now Doken Awakens. Finally, finally, she Doken Awakens. Um, the 17 also Doken Awakens. We're going to talk about that. Both of them will Doken Awaken from Doken Awaken from the event Shining Hope in the Future of War. That's the uh, future Gohan event. So you're going to need to go over here and grind out the medals. What is it? Uh, 21. So you need 21 of those medals. And you come over here to the Hope Fight Against Despair event. And you need to grind out the medals, the Android 17 and 18 medals. You're going to need three of each of them. So even if you don't have these cards, guys as of right now they are not doken fest exclusives make sure you grind out three of each in case you get them you can then doken awaken them if you want them all right just letting you know that now please go ahead and grind these out do not be the one of the person to sit there and be like oh okay i'll just worry about it when it comes out in the future and then wait like four or five months before the event actually finally comes back uh, but yeah, go ahead and do that. Android 17 has a 70% drop rate, while 18 only has a 20% drop rate, apparently, and that really sucks. So good luck with that grind. B buy them from the Baba Shop when you can. Um, finally, the Doken Awakening comes. Ghastly Destruction, Android number 18, Future. Leader abilities, agility type key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 60%, so meh, all right. Um, <clears throat> she will be good for newer players to take on older events for sure. Super attack, sadistic, dance, supreme damage to the enemy, and raises a t uh, defense by 30% for three turns. So she's a defensive buff person. Passive skill, war dominance. Man, why is she so ugh, dominating? <laughs> um, her passive skill is still physical to agility, but now she gives herself attack and defense plus 70%. When her HP below drops below 70%, she also changes intelligence key to physical. That's going to benefit the other Android 17, the physical one. So that's actually pretty damn awesome. So uh, this is kind of how it works. It changes first physical to agility, and then after it changes physical to agility, then the second part of the passive kicks in where it changes intelligence to physical. So it's not like she's going to change um, uh, intelligence to physical and physical to agility to change the entire board. Um, so that kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, so that's how that's going to work. Uh, link skills are organic upgrade, android assault, twin terrors, brutal beatdown, battlefield diva, dismal future fierce battle. Again, these are all android links, so she's really only going to link well with herself, like uh, the other android 18s, not the future ver versions, um, and the other android 17s. Uh, categories are Peppy Gals and Future Saga, so you can finally run her with a TUR 120 uh, Peppy Gal team, which will increase the drop rate. So for those of you who don't know, because I got this asked in the comments last time I had mentioned it, uh, an ultra rare, an SSR that Z-Awakens to an ultra rare, will have less percentage increase going up against the vents that require that, that will give you defense uh, drop bonuses than a TUR. So a TUR will have a higher drop rate. Uh, will give it a higher drop rate of those specific bonus items. So Peppy Gal's team with Master Roche, you get those, tur um, yeah, you get the turtle shells. So when it comes to that, if you have the TUR variant of this Android 18, you'll have a higher chance to drop more of those shells. But anyway, that's that. Um, she's also part of the Future Saga category. Um, max stats are going to be HP of 10,251, attack of 7822, and defense of 4,444. I do not recommend increasing her dupe system. That's just my thing on it. 12 key multiplies 135%. When HP 70% are low, she changes intelligence to uh, physical only after already changing the f previous physical to agility, like I had said earlier. Um, so again, I'm not really a huge, huge fan of um, giving her dupe system. Attack and defense plus 70% with supreme damage is not bad. She will definitely become defensive, very well defensive, but I really don't think it's worth it. Uh, she does is semi-farmable with an SR Android 18 future that drops, so you can do that if you want. Mine is actually 100% with all four dupe pads unlocked, so when it comes to global, I'm set. But I still will not be uh, increasing any of her dupe pads, most likely. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty awesome, and she'll be do she'll do really well on an Android 17 team. So and even Future Saga. Um, in terms of best linking buddies, best linking buddies in-game, 
as I said before, Android 17, Android 18, Android 18, 18, 17, 17, 17. Actually, this one's Hellfighter 17, but you get what I'm saying. Um, six Link skills with the physical one that gets us to Oak Awakening. Um, that's a two, four, five key. Uh, attack plus 25% and defense plus 1,000. So that's going to be her best linking buddy in-game. Uh, then her other counterpart, the Intelligence TUR variant, Android 18, four link skills. And those are four key, attack plus 15%, that's Fierce Battle, and defense plus 1,000. And the other Android 17s and 18s here, which is just three key, or three link skills, which this one's four key defense buff. This is four key defense buff. This is two key, 15% attack buff, 1,000 defense buff. And the 17 is twin, so two key, attack buff, defense buff. And the Hellfighter is 10% attack, 25% attack buff, and defense buff. So honestly, um, None of these 18s, these two 18s aren't really that good. This one is another key orb manipulator. So you can go ahead and, and grab this one if you want. I wish you would change. Uh, there we go on the side. So changes the rainbow to intelligent, which I'm not a big fan of. Attack and defense plus 30% up. Reduction of regenerate. Yeah. So she's not really that great in my opinion. So honestly, the only one you're really running her with is a standard 17. And uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. In terms of mono agility for best linking buddies, it's only two or more. Except for the 17, obviously. Uh, and that's his regular Android 17 from the uh, Super 17 GT event. So he, she links with him for three key, or the three link skills, which I already said. 15% attack buff and two key, which isn't horrible. He is actually, let's see, uh, speed and, tech, and uh, intelligence. Key plus two attack and defense plus 25%. So he is uh, a support unit. Um, so they're not going to really be linked right next to each other. And then pretty much the only links out with everyone here because of Fierce Battle. When you take out Fierce Battle, it's only one other link skill. So this one's Cruelty, 10% attack buff. Cruelty, 10% attack buff. Cruelty, um, defense. Oh, that's a thousand defense up for Super 17. And the future despair. Despair of the future for one key with, uh, with uh, this uh, Rosé. So she doesn't really do that well on a mono extreme agility team. But, you know, what can you really do? You, you don't really expect too much out of it. She's a key or manipulator. So she will benefit at least in some way, um, especially when your HP drops. And you know what? Honestly, she's going to be more of a support unit anyway because of that key orb manipulation. And when your HP drops below, she'll at least be getting a lot of key for you. So uh, it's really up to you. And plus, she for a support unit, if you're going to look at her as a support unit, she is going to hit pretty decently for that. Um, but let's go ahead and jump in. In terms of the future Saga category, the only one she links really well with is going to be the 17. If we go over here, and this is already with this is only with two because there's nothing else with three. If we get rid of the 17 over here, she only links with two or more with all these guys. And again, like before what I said with the mono agility, it's Fierce Battle. When you take away Fierce Battle, there's only one link with the rest of them. So it's not really that worth it. Uh, let's go over here and jump into Android 17, Killing Machine, Sneer, Android 17, Future. Um, this guy was a keyword manipulator technique to physical, and now he Doken Awakens finally. Um, he was not really used that much. I do have mine super attack 10 with all four dupes unlocked on the global side as well. Um, let's see over here. He Doken Awakens with 21 medals, like I had stated before, and three Android 17 medals from the event as stated before, hoping to fight against despair. Uh, when he Doken Awakens, he finally Doken Awakens, Ruthless Pressure Android 17 Future. Leader abilities, physical type, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 60%. So again, for those of you who are new players, this will benefit you on all the OG events, on all the 70% uh, events, and I don't think he'll help you out on any of the uh, 120 events. But yeah, at least you have him if you're trying to go up against some of the 70% uh, and the OG events. Supreme damage the enemy, raises attack for three turns. Not that bad. Passive skill, grand offense, uh, changes technique, key spheres to physical, attack and defense plus 70%, so just like the Android 18. And then when your HP drops below 80, uh, 70%, he changes strength spheres to agility spheres. So this again happens after the technique to physical. So that's going to help out an agility team. Um, so he helps. So he's really good for physical and agility teams pretty much. And you know me, as I've stated before in so many videos, I prefer type to type over type to uh, rainbow. And I hate rainbow to type because I think that actually hurts you more than it helps. Link skills are organic. Upgrade Android Assault Twin Terrors, Brutal Beatdown Nightmare, Dismal Future, and Fierce Battle. And he's only part of the future Saga category. Max stats are HP of 9,972, attack of 8,046, and defense of 4,304. 12 key multiplier of 135%. Raises attack for three turns as a 50% buff. And that's pretty much it 
Again, just like the 18, mostly going to be a support unit. Be his, his super attack, while it does raise his attack, it might make him a little more viable. There's definitely going to be better damage dealers that you could run on a team, but you never know what you could use. In terms of best linking buddies, as you see over here, I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, I did three or more here, and as you see, there's so many with three or more. Um, as I stated earlier as well, Android 18, Android 18, 17. Well, actually, that one's Hell, Hell Fighter 17, I believe. Um, so, but you do have them here. So 17, 17, super 17, and then you get to the, well, super 17 is three key with him or three link skills with him, which is defense and then two attack buffs. Then you have the LR Rosen's Masu for 25% and one key, 25% attack buff and one key, 25% attack buff and one key for Rose, 25% uh, attack buff and one key for merge the Masu. Then you have Janemba for three link skills, which is, just, wow, um, that is 10, 20, 35% attack buff with Janemba. Then you have the Korra, who is just a support unit. This is the World Tournament Korra, which is another 35% attack buff. And then everyone else over here just pretty much duplicates of these guys up over here. But really, honestly, if we're just, we're just gonna get rid of the three or more, we're gonna make this four or more. And he's just gonna link with the 17, the Android 17, the Hellfighter 17, and the Android 18, and the Android 18 future. It's funny, you can run all these guys on the same damn team if you really want to. Um, and they're gonna do pretty freaking well together. Let's go over here. Let's turn that off just for chits and giggles. Um, this is exactly what you could do. So these two run for six or more. These two run for five or more. So you're going to do these two together. I mean, I'm just saying you can do this if you want to. And these two. Then you have this android, the Hellfighter Android 17 over here if you want him. Um, and then you have two other leaders, whatever ones you want to get that, uh, that buff. But I'm just saying it's funny because you run all of them on different teams because the, the Android 17s are all different names. Android 17, Hellfighter 17, and Android 17 Future. And then you have uh, Future Android 18 and just Android 18. But anyway, moving on. Um, in terms of mono physical team, just like the Android 18, he only links with two link skills, one of them being Fierce Battle. Um, this is the Omega, I believe. Yeah, I think this is the Omega. No, this is the Sin Shenron. Um because he is attack, yeah, attack and defense for 60% up. Defense, yeah, so that's Sin Shenron. He has a cruelty, I believe, that this is. Uh, this link skill is a 10% attack buff and fierce battle. 15%, um, 10%, so 25%, 25%. Goku Black is 25% in one key. Uh, Omega Shenron is 25%. Uh, Kid Buu is 25%, and the future Gohan is 15% in one key. Stupid translations don't wanna work, but that's it, so he doesn't really fit that well on this team. But the key or manipulation will benefit him and for a future saga category as stated before same thing except he gets two link skills with all these guys instead of just one like the android 18. obviously the the 18 over here um does get linked with him the best but he gets three link skills with all these guys and this is 25 percent one key um this one merge the masu is going to be 25 percent one key the first one was uh goku black Rose, the two Rose's are going to be 25% one key and 25% one key. Then the LR merge Zamasu and the merge, oh, sorry, the LR Zamasu and Rose and the Zamasu and Goku Black is 25% and one key and 25% one key. So he's going to be linking not great with these guys, but at least he gets a 25% linking bo uh, boost, which is not horrible, which will help these guys out. Um, but that's pretty much it. Again, these guys are both really support units. That's all I'm really going to suggest running them as because of their key orb manipulation. Never keep them on primary rotation unless it's like something very, very specific um, for like event drops on a future category or something like that. But anyway, guys, that's it. It was a pretty quick video. I just wanted to make sure I went over it because they are new Doken Awakenings and I feel like they deserve their own video and spotlight for it. Anyway, guys, thank you. I'll check you in on the comments below and you have a good one. Peace out.